From the dawn of time, man has caused and experienced conflict. The world is a violent place, and for various political, economic, religious and other reasons, wars and conflicts have continued to erupt. For more than 5,000 years of man's existence, the means and methods by which men destroyed each other in war changed only little. But in living memory, they have changed so drastically as to be quite literally beyond the imagination of the soldiers and commanders who have gone before us. Then, suddenly, man developed a unique approach as he unleashed his terror and his war, especially on his children. The slightly built Irish nurse, Margaret Colfer, told me I could go in. I removed my leather jacket and gently got onto the bed and lay down next to our son. And for the first time since early Saturday morning, I was able to make proper contact with him. I put my left arm across his chest with the fingers of my left hand around the upper part of his right arm. I put my lips to his swollen cheek and kissed him many times. While I was so close to him, I bade Tim my lasting and loving farewells. And as I did so, I sobbed openly with every fibre of my body aching, agonisingly for the son of ours to rest in peace, free from pain, for all eternity. I told him I did not know what I was going to do without him, and that the gap he would leave in this family's life would be huge and yawning. Tim died gently with great dignity, with his dad holding on to him to the end. In 1914, British and German forces came out of their trenches on Christmas Day for a spontaneous football match in no man's land. This simple act of peace inspired Nancy Delolio to create Truce International as a response to the post-millennium crisis in human affairs and the loss of human security around the world. In 2006, Peace Parade UK established the UK's first and only official and public observation of United Nations Peace Day. In 2006, partnership with Truce International, Foundation for Peace and Rochdale's Link for Life, Peace Parade UK have established a working model that aims to be replicated worldwide, with the game of football as a major part of it. Over the past two years in Rochdale, over 60 football teams have played in a Kickerball for Peace football tournament, in remembrance and honour of those who fell before them. UN Peace Day 2008 and other tremendous years, like the first year 2006, there's hundreds of people here. There's about 25 vintage cars, a piece like the DeLorean from Back to the Future, the, all the MPs are here and the mayors from other towns. It's, it's another phenomenal day. We're going to leave in about 10 minutes, so I'm going to go and meet people and get all lined up. It's a bit crazy, can't wait to start. It's press here and it's another beautiful day. UN Peace Day is going to be cool.
I can remember loads of places like there was Germany, England, mainly Iraq, Russia, Africa, Iran, um, America and Japan, France, and that's all I can think of. The guns, the aircrafts flying over. There's people crying on the streets and trying to find the people that they've lost. You know that people's dying almost every second, basically. Planes flying around, dropping bombs, people panicking, people running away. And everyone's fighting for their lives, they can't do anything about it. And we're just lucky to sit, sit here and play. Peace is something that everybody can have, but um, it is also when people like don't attack other countries and other people, and it's and peace can also make you to know other people instead of killing them. Peace is when you like you're calm, the world's safe, you're relaxed, comfortable, and just get on with your life. Peace means when everyone's together with each other and there's no fights going on around the world. Peace is when um, it's all calm and quiet and there's no fighting going on. It's when people just throw away all the weapons, machines, everything, and just um, stop, every, stop war, share everything they got to make it fair and, well, a cleaner, better world. Yeah, you okay with that? Good, your phone's down now.